hi hello welcome so in this video i'm going to be repotting my purple oxalis plant here we go it's whew, it's a little bit all over the place right now but um i don't know how long it's been in this pot honestly because i got this from my mom who's had it for a while and I just asked her for one of the bulbs. So these grow in bulbs, it's not just roots. So they grow from bulbs. I asked her for one of the bulbs as a birthday present and she just ended up bringing me the whole plant over in this like cute little teacup pot that she has. But unfortunately this teacup pot is really not my style and I wanted to actually see how many bulbs are in there, see if I can separate them and put them into some other pots. And I do have my main big, pot here that I got at TJ Maxx for $7.99 and I really like how simple it is. It's white with some like fingerprint-ish designs going on. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's so white, there we go. So with some fingerprint-ish designs going on and um, it's gonna go in here. I'm gonna give it some new soil and yeah, and while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna talk about the plant for anybody who's a little curious about it. And I've got my gloves, I've got this tool to break up the soil and the old pot, just so it's easier to transfer over. First, let me get this tag off. A little bit about the purple oxalis also known as the purple shamrock plant because of how the leaves look when they open up. It grows from a bulb. It's not your typical plant that you just has roots, you know? And that itself makes it very fascinating. And another cool thing is that they also, oops, <laughs> is that they also grow flowers. Look at this. So it grows these light purple-ish flowers and they're just beautiful and fun to see. Another cool thing is that the leaves, they open and close. So they fold down when there isn't a lot of light and then they open back up into their full form when there's sunlight and they all bend towards the sun. So that's what's happening here with all of them facing this direction. With where I had the window. Oh. It's about to get a little messy, but. And also I purposefully just watered it a little bit because I knew that I wanted to repot it. And dry soil makes the process a lot easier than wet soil. And I'm actually just crushing up the soil as I do this because I want to make sure there aren't like bulbs in other places and then I miss them. So that would just be real sad. Okay, here's a little bit of the bulb. So you can see how that looks. Look at that right there. This is the bulb. Okay, and as I was saying, so from my understanding of this plant, it's not overly specific about the type of water it needs or the type of sunlight. I've just read that if you're gonna put it in more direct sunlight, you just need to water it more to make sure that the soil is still moist and isn't gonna, you know, die on you. As for light, um, you just don't want too much direct sunlight or, you know, the leaves are gonna end up burning and we don't want that at all, obviously. Oops, stay with me. Okay, so here is one bulb. It looks like this. There we go. So I'm gonna put this one guy in a different pot and then see what happens and put the rest of them, keep the rest of them together. So we're gonna keep you like this. I'm just 
using a regular, well, it's a miracle Grow indoor potting mix. I read a lot about the types of soil, but there isn't anything specific, especially because this plant is technically supposed to be like a summer outdoor garden plant, meant more for the ground. But as you can tell, we're gonna be keeping it indoors and letting it thrive in the house, hopefully. Okay, so it's gonna go in here like this. <clears throat> And also, when you're potting this guy, just be really gentle because these are so delicate. Actually, this one was dying, so that's okay. Honestly, I always wait till the very end to pack it down a little, just in case I realize it's not as centered as I want it to be. And then, you know, we don't wanna have to undo all of this. So here we are. Here is my purple oxalis. I'm just gonna water it a little bit and then let it sit, let it rest, and let it figure out what it wants to do and then I'm gonna do a one week update so you can see how it looks. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I repotted my purple oxalis and I wanted to show you guys how it looks now. So here we go, I'm so excited. Ta-da! Look at how happy and full it is. It's just so full of life there's so much new growth since when i was repotting it and let me show you like you can see all the oops you can see a bunch of little ones coming in as well so it's just gonna keep growing it's gonna get fuller and i can't wait to see how much bigger it's gonna get so i just wanted to show you guys how it looks now so you won't feel like you've been left hanging and um yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope you consider getting a purple oxalis. They're really stubborn plants and even if you're pretty new to them, as long as you give them water when the soil is dry and give them a good amount of sunlight, they'll keep growing and growing and just bring you so much happiness. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon, bye.